SI instruments, suppliers of high quality force and torque measurement equipment. All McMesson digital force and torque gauges are supplied with a computer output. This RS232 cable can connect your gauge to a USB input on your computer. Once the gauge is connected to the computer, it is possible to use the EasyPlot charting and graphing software for further analysis of the force or torque. When starting up the software, you will be presented with a blank graph. The first step is to connect the force gauge to the software. To do this, click on the device tab. It is now a matter of filling in these boxes. First we select the communication port. Then we select the board rate. Last we select which instrument we have connected. Other information on the right hand side may be adjusted according to your own preferences. In the bottom of the screen, you can press the connect button and the test communications button to see the value that you have on the force gauge displayed here. If you find the value there, everything is running smoothly and you are ready for a measurement. Click on graph to see your measurement graph. All you have to do is press the start button and the graph starts plotting immediately. We begin our tension test by pulling on the unit. You can see here the graph hovers around the 20 Newton mark. To complete the test, we press the stop button. In settings, it is possible to change the settings of the measurement graph, such as the graph title, the unit of measurement for the X and Y axis, and also the start and stop triggers. You can also choose between your own measurement range or auto scale. While, like your gauge, there is an extensive list of measuring units to choose from. The use of test triggers does, however, need some explanation. We just showed you a test graph which, when the start button was pressed, began to graph immediately. But in real life, you may not be ready yet for measuring, hence you have a whole lot of zero data in your graph. In this case, you can work with test triggers. If we change the test trigger start in Y preferences to 1 Newton, and now go back to perform a measurement, and press the start button, the graph will not start until the threshold of 1 Newton is reached. It is also possible to set an end trigger either based on a force value or simply on time. If we now perform the next test, the graph will start at the same point in the test and the graphs are more easily compared. The calculations tab generates standard calculations for this test. There are numerous calculations to choose from in constructing these results. In this case, we would like to know the maximum force of the complete graph and the average force between 5 and 9 seconds. Let's also add a tolerance limit between 10 and 20 newtons on this calculation. Once selected, the results are immediately visible in the results tab. As you can see here, the results in red are outside our tolerance limits. To better demonstrate this next feature, we would like you to view this video in full screen mode. Whichever tab we press, there is always a lot of empty space on the monitor. We have therefore made the viewing customizable. Simply click and drag a tab from the top to the bottom until you get a colour change. Now you can release the mouse button. We can do this again with any of the tabs. 
the fields are scalable and where required scroll bars pop up. This allows you to view and edit several tabs simultaneously. Other features include the viewing of each individual trace, changing the name of the trace and its colour. You can also exclude a trace from your calculations or completely delete a trace. The x-axis represents the time scale, however for some applications it may be handy to have a distance or position scale. This is particularly suitable when using EasyPlot in conjunction with the motorised test stand. When the speed of the test stand is known, it can be entered into EasyPlot. This converts the x-axis into a suitable unit for distance, such as millimetres. Results can be exported in a standard report to the printer or the PDF writer. You can select which pages you prefer for your report. There are two different export facilities available. You can export the raw data of each of the traces. And also export the calculated results to a spreadsheet. One of these features is the automatic adding of test results to an existing spreadsheet. All of the settings you have changed can be stored in a template for later use. Simply call up the template and all the settings are retained as before. For further information, please refer to the Download Centre on our website. You can download a brochure as well as a 30-day trial for this software. Please contact our office for a detailed quotation or for any other inquiries.